Hello and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where for the last few Fridays we have been attempting to solve the Times um, Cryptic Crossword on Friday, which is normally the hardest puzzle of the week in the Times. It seems to be today. I checked the snitch earlier. Um, the rating is about 121, which is 100 is an average puzzle. So it's significantly more difficult than an average puzzle. And some of the usual suspects have taken quite a while to solve this. Um, so without further ado, let's get cracking and click the puzzle and hopefully the internet will work. Yes. Okay. One across. Medic approaching sailor's bunk. Uh, bunk. I mean, the clue is trying to make you think about a bunk on a ship. I'm thinking bunk as in rot, bunkum. Um, say, ah, uh, bunk, oh, maybe bunk as in to, to abscond as well. Medic, doc, ab, 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 ab. I want, I want ab because sailor, able seaman, ab is a valid abbreviation. I, I can't solve it. That's so annoying. Right, one down. Face covering. That could show a man's hip. <laughs> um, I love the I love the reading of that clue. I mean, how can this have an how can this have an answer that could show a man's hip? I'm wondering if it's an anagram of a man's hip, like. Um, and it's, so it's a face covering. Some, and then the second word would be an anagram indicator. Pash. It's not something like Pashmina, is it? Pash. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's go back to this one. If that did begin with P. No, I think I'm just on the wrong lines. Let's try four across. With being a pro, presumably played a little faster i haven't got a clue what that is i'm terrified that's some musical expression i'm not familiar with okay two down like certain items laid out initially useless like certain items laid out initially is making me think of lo and then a word for useless mm, like certain items I mean, that's, that's a very vague definition, isn't it? If this was an L, does that help us with anything? No. All right, this is a terrible start. Nine across, mixed, oh, this is an anagram. You can't have, you know, look at these ludicrous letters. Vile KOs an. So it's Slovakian, okay, East European. Um, yeah, okay, I mean, it just is. Mixture is telling us we need a mixture of the letters of vial, cos, an. And you can see if you anagram them, you get Slovakian. So that's slightly easier. Although annoyingly, Slovakian has, you know, has this beautiful K, which would be a lovely checking letter. And all we actually get is sort of vowels and Ns and Ss in the checking letters, which is not really what we're after. Opposing, it could be a gin, A-G-I-N. It's an old word that means opposing. Article and what it can go with. Oh, well, this is again. Okay, right. This is a tricky wording though. Article is referring to an article of speech. Now the indefinite article is a, the definite article is the. So that's where this a is coming from. And what it can go with, well, it, believe it or not, is a word that doesn't just mean a thing, as in it, it's, it's Italian vermouth. And with Italian vermouth, you quite often partner gin, as in gin and tonic. So what it can go with, I kid you not, is referring to a drink. Um, and again, it means opposing. So that's that's lucky there. Um, with being a pro, my window's rattling, that's distracting me. Five down. Um, one animated head of family with a chance to hug daughters. One animated, I'm thinking like Mickey Mouse or something like that. Donkey Kong. I quite like Donkey Kong. Don might be the head of a family with a chance 
to hug mm, no i mean the daughters here makes me want to oh donald duck is the answer of course i was thinking i needed to put d in the middle of it so it's not Do donkey kong it's donald duck i play too much nintendo um now i haven't worked out why except it's got double d in the middle of it so okay so don is still correct but for the head of the family oh a chance is a luck and that has double D in the middle of it. D is a valid abbreviation for daughter. Okay, let's try four down, four across again. With being a pro, presume, so is this something like Andantino or something? With could be and, as in and, if you happen to be with somebody, it's you and them. And, and, Tino is what it is. That's where my mind went. Let's see. Being a pro. Anti. Oh, you're, if you're a pro, you're anti. No, you're against the people who would say no to something. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's very clever. I love it. Um, with being a pro. <laughs> with being a pro for and, 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 and anti. No. Lovely. Lovely. Um, about to go off. Such an a nodding must be. You get a nodding acquaintance. Oh, and if you're about to go off, you're about to go to sleep. So nodding is correct there. Right. Good. So ten across. Turn on setter. Maybe that could be a dog. Doggo. Yes. Okay. This is a, one of these funny words. I will at the end, assuming I solve the puzzle correctly, uh, will use the dictionary to look at some of these words because, for example, uh, again. And proving to you that it is, is, is Italian vermouth. And doggo here is a funny word, which mean, does mean keeping a low profile. And the way this works in the wordplay is a setter, as in a red setter, is a type of dog. That's why it's saying maybe. Setter maybe is saying setter is an example of one of the things that contributes to the wordplay. So that's dog. And we're putting a word that means turn on our word that means dog. So next to the word dog, we put a word that means turn. And if you have a go, you have a turn. Um, if you're playing Monopoly and you have a turn, you're having a go. So seven down. And we should be able to get this. Usually time. Usually, in general. Time left to pursue home learning. I'm sure it's in general. Let's Home is in. If you're at home, you're in. Um, time left is era l isn't it time in era is a unit of time l is left so we have to justify gen for learning and it does mean learning it's it's sort of what's the gen you might say meaning what what's happening what's what's going on give me the information so your learning might be your gen it's a, again it's a slightly old word that now look can we get eight down now haughty on one's on one's high horse old heroine old heroine oh old heroine song composed is an anagram of o plus heroine's song on one's i think it is on one's high horse isn't it husbands again h is a valid abbreviation for husband i can i can visualize there's double h in the middle of on one's high horse um, which certainly means to be haughty, doesn't it? So, I, I mean, I haven't checked this, but it, you know, if I was solving this on my own, I would just slap this in and not remotely attempt to tick off the letters of the anagram. I think what we've got is O for old and an anagram of heroine's song about double H being those two H's there. And if that's wrong, I apologise. This looks like alliance, just looking. Oh, it probably is because the word wedding is there. Wedding is a type of alliance. Um, exhausted. If you're exhausted, you're all in. Hosting A. So we put all in around A because A is being hosted. It's being entertained by the letters. And church. If you see church in a cryptic crossword, it's almost always either CH, uh, which you might see on uh, an ordnance survey map as an abbreviation for church, or CE for Church of England. And here it looks like it's CE. So Alliance is going to be right. This looks like girth, doesn't it? Right to run round middle distance. Your middle distance is the distance around the middle. So I think it right to run by. Hang on. I haven't, I haven't understood why this is girth yet. 
right to run around. You see, right could be R or it could be RT. Oh, no, okay. Right, I was totally wrong. Uh, although, with some justification, this is just an anagram of the word right, isn't it? it the, the, the word right runs around. So it, it you know, it goes... Bleh. That's my anagram indicating sort of, uh, you know, if we're playing charades, now you know what that means. Um, and the middle, I think middle distance is, I would have given that a question mark in a way, because it's a slightly... <laughs> It's a slightly twisted definition. Your girth is your distance around your middle. Uh, is that your middle distance? Well, it is in a sense, but it might have deserved a question mark because it's quite punny. Um, let's have a look at 19 now. We must be able to get this. L, -O -L, -L blank G at the end. Log something, presumably. Restricted journal. Well, journal's going to be log. And sound equipment to take from section of trunk. Restricted journal. I don't know what that is. I mean, I'm sure it ends log, but I don't know what the answer is. So our, our good run is perhaps going to come to an end now. 22 across. Rather broad thing their jam is served in. Rather broad is going to be the definition, like widish. <laughs> it is widish. It's outrageous. Okay. Um, so the only way I managed to solve this, frankly, is by honing in on the phrase rather broad. And then I thought of widish, because I would not have solved this from the wordplay. The wordplay is thing their jam is served in, question mark. And this is punning on the fact that the Women's Institute, uh, famously, or, you know, they quite often make jam, apparently. So... The WI dish might be something that the Women's Institute would serve their jam in. I mean, it's a completely ludicrous clue, but I think it is the answer. I mean, if you're, if you're watching this from a part of the world that doesn't have the Women's Institute, that is going to feel so, so recherche and absurd. I, I sympathise completely. I barely understand it, and I'm born and bred in this country. Okay, 23 down. Asian banker. So I'm thinking, well, I'm thinking when I see the word banker in a cryptic crossword, I'm thinking of a river, believe it or not, because a river has banks. So I'm thinking of the Indus here. Yeah, and it is Indus because application is industry. And industry, if you lose, try, if you try somebody, you judge them. So if we take try out of the word industry we get indus i mean again i'm helped by the fact i think i've seen a clue that has done this before taken try out of industry um and i'm so familiar with asian bankers likely to be an asian river that that for me is a write-in whereas i mean it's monstrous um it's monstrous if you're new to cryptic crosswords you could look at the answer here and never understand it and perhaps that's why these videos are somewhat useful to, to newcomers to cryptic crosswords, because at least I can explain to you how that works. Um, part of Japan, where the whole Scottish family, that must be clan maybe, at home. Hmm, part of Japan, Okinawa. Oh, I mean, I really like this. Okay, I really like this, but it's absolutely outrageous again. <laughs> I mean, it's outrageous. Okinawa is part of Japan. That's how I solved it. I did not have a clue from the wordplay. I thought it was about clan. You heard, you heard I said that. Where the whole Scottish family at home, question mark, is saying that none of the kin are awa. Now, awa is a word which means away in Scottish. I'm not going to attempt a Scottish accent. It would not go well for me. Um, so, o kin away. Is, 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 the way we're meant to read this is zero of your kin are away. A Scottish person apparently, note the question mark at the end because it's an outrage, might say o kin awa. 
which is a place in Japan. So this is Isle, I presume. Where there are no seats in first class, winter transport. Yes, okay, where there are no seats, there are no seats down the aisle in a church, for example. First class, if something's first class, it's A1. A, an I here can, is used very often for one in cryptic crosswords because it is the Roman numeral for the number one. And then winter transport is a sleigh or a sled, S-L-E-D, and that has been cut. It's had its end removed. So we're still doing okay. Microblog? Sound, sound equipment is a mic. To take from section. I'm just going to put this here. Oh, take from, to rob. Section of a trunk. A section of a tree trunk is a log. That's very clever. Okay, so microblog is the answer. Very weird word, um, but rather lovely. 26 across. Flirt. I'm thinking philander here. With one in pub with lighter. It is philander. Okay. You phil a philanderer is somebody who flirts a lot. Um, so how does this work from a wordplay perspective? Well, a pub is a public house. Often a very, 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 very good tip for cryptic crosswords is to think of short synonyms for the main words in the clue. So when I see pub, I often think of bar, B-A-R, because I mean, it's a short synonym that means pub. PH though, for public house, I am aware of. And then we've got one, that's this one again, we've talked about why I can be one. And lighter for lander, if you light on somewhere, if you're in a boat and you light somewhere, you land. So lighter and lander are synonymous. Um, tricky, but but doable, especially with a bit of experience. So, uh, all right, let me, let me explain my thought process for this clue. I have not solved this clue yet, but I've seen it's got an I in its second letter and I've read greeting at the start. So I'm instantly thinking hi as the start of this answer. Let's see if it's right. Well, it is. It's tricky though. Okay, so it's high for a greeting. S can be a valid abbreviation for saints. You have to watch that one though, because ST is also a valid abbreviation for saint. But if we hiss, it's certainly not likely to be a greeting we would give to a saint. It's very unlikely you'd hiss at them unless you were of a very peculiar sort of moral persuasion. So 24 down, I think, is hiss. And the whole clue, the, the whole the wordplay needs to be read in context in order to understand the, the definition, I suppose. So 13 down, he'll come a cropper in the end. He'll come a cropper in the end. I was thinking like base jumper, <laughs> but it's obviously not that. This M is uh, precluding that. Um, He'll come a cropper in the end. I want this. I don't think it is because I can't. It, it's out, it's a bit outrageous if it is, but I. I quite like the thought that this is an anagram of he'll come a and r being the last the the word cropper's end. The reason I think that's not going to be right is there is no anagram indicator there. So he'll come a cropper in the end, comma, possibly question mark. I would accept as having an anagram indicator in it. And the, the reason I'm just pausing there is that obviously I've got this M and this P and there isn't an M and a P. Oh, no, there isn't. It just looks like there's a P <laughs> from cropper. No, OK, it's not that. He'll come. A cropper in the end. Grim Reaper. Oh, of course. Okay. Sorry. That that was much, much easier than I made it. Okay. Um, Grim Reaper, obviously. Death. I am death. I am the Grim Reaper. Yes, but how could we all die at once? The Salmon Moose. For some of you, that will mean something. For others, you will think I've gone stark raving mad or just more mad, and I apologise. <laughs> but yeah, the Grim Reaper is death, obviously. It's punning on the fact that if you come a cropper, you die. Um, 
now. Okay, now this is this. Well, this is being a lovely right hand side of the grid but if we actually just stare at this grid now it's fairly terrifying because all of this beautiful fill that we've got on the right is almost not helping us at all on the left not with anything useful we'll try 14 across authorized to reduce tempo we're decelerating authorized i'm thinking like endorsed or something to reduce tempo, it could be um, a word for tempo like time, reduced, so Tim, authorised, Tim, I don't know, let's try 17, at least that would give us two interesting starting letters. In a place mentioned in reports, if you see words like in reports, can quite often indicate a homophone in a place I'm thinking sighted it is sighted right okay so I was on the right lines by thinking of homophone and the way I got it then was by thinking of a word that might mean in a place and I thought of the word sighted now why is this right well what we're looking for here is a word that means mentioned that if we spell it differently but in a way that sounds the same we could get this word cited and if you think of the word c-i-t-e-d if you cited something you would be mentioning it so mentioned cited with a c we hear that it sounds exactly the same as this word cited which is the answer because it means in a place tricky but but doable uh, 18 down island out of defoe possibly anagram of defoe originally associated with old bit of brisson Blech. oh old uh, i wonder old bit of britain i think that might be could even be the d here i'm thinking of an old coin a bit is a word for a coin not as in a bitcoin a bit really is a word for a coin um, so an old bit of Britain could be an old penny which had the abbreviation D um, out of Defoe possibly island so I think we're looking for the name of an island here, but nothing is occurring to me. Bobbins, right, let's try 15 down. Uh, requests, rubbish tip, oh, rubbish tip on site. Okay, well rubbish I think is being used as an anagram indicator here. And again, I can't really tell you how I do this, but I can tell you that any experienced cryptic crossword solver will read this clue and instantly feel there is something anagrammy about it because tip on site it's just a it's just a funny collection of letters it feels anagrammy so requests is going to be petitions isn't it yeah, we can do that okay that's good at least we get some letters now can we maybe do this one again now authorized approve no uh authorized to reduce tempo we're decelerating authorized oh bobbins i should be able to get that and i can't oh let's try it maybe this one oh this was the face covering oh i wanted this to be something like pashmina oh pashmina would still work you know what about an m here irritating person irritating persons old-fashioned goodness and cunning old-fashioned goodness and cunning i mean i think i think this is a word that means an irritating person and then we've got an old-fashioned word for goodness or which could be an expression as in like egad e-g-a-d is an old expression which means goodness um as in goodness me um and then a word for cunning and there are some short synonyms for cunning like fly so an irritating person. I was thinking like gadfly. It might be. Uh, well, what 
what's wrong with gadfly then? I, I quite like that. I, I said old fashioned, a word for old fashioned, my goodness, is egad. Now, there could also be a word gad. I'm less familiar with it, but it's very possible if egad is a word, gad is probably a word that means the same sort of thing. And fly for cunning. And a gadfly, I think, is an irritating person. Oh, but this puts an absolute hole in my idea that this was Pashmina. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh well. I'll leave this in, but I'm prepared to take it out, I think. Let's just try and... Face covering. That could show a man's hip. Face covering. Mask. Mm. Oh, Poppins. Um... I don't know. Let's just see if the D here. Oh, this is the like certain items one. Laid out, initially useless. Like certain items laid out, initially useless. Oh, sorry, I know I'm sort of corpsing here. I can't, I can't get this. Right, three down. Buy, polish off, singer who's often high. Singer who's often high. I'm wondering if it's a songbird who's, who would be high in the air. Swallow. Oh, it is. It's a triple definition. Ah, this is good. Okay, so if you buy something, you believe it. You swallow it. If you polish off something, you eat it, you swallow it. And a singer who's often high is a swallow. So uh, as in a, a, a you know, a, a, a bird song is, is, is what that's getting at. So now, now look at this one, something world or wired, authorized, empowered must be the answer. Why though, to reduce tempo Oh, it's inside it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's spelt out. Look, it's what there's always. Well, there isn't always. There's almost always one of these clues in every times crossword. Spotting them, <laughs> even if you've done a lot of times crosswords, is not necessarily simple. But here, if we reduce the phrase tempo, we're decelerating by sort of chopping bits off it, you can see spelt out in the middle E M P O W E R E D, empowered, which is the answer. So what on earth is this? Oh, this is very designed, designer, face covering, designer, star. oh, designer stubble. Oh, I've got it. That must be right. I haven't understood it quite yet, but I figured we might be able to understand it. So designer stubble, face covering that could show a man is hip. Um, I mean, obviously, it, the whole clue. The whole clue means what it says. Hip as in, if, you, if you're hip, you're trendy, you have designer stubble. But I think there's more to it than that. I don't think it's just a cryptic definition. That could show a man's hip face covering. Maybe it is. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the words of the clue there and I'm trying to, I'm looking at also looking at the letters of the answer and I'm trying to sort of shuffle them around in my head a bit and I'm not seeing a very, anything very clever there. So maybe it is just a very, you know, a sort of a cryptic definition, which makes you think, oh, it's a, it's like a mask that's got a picture of a man's hip on it or something. Whereas actually what would, what it's punning on is the fact that it, it's, it's something that would show a man's trendy. I, I'm not sure there might be something more to that, but it's, it's clearly the right answer. Let's try 21. Oh, we've not, which we've not looked at. Right. Okay. Search for Cockney. Now <laughs> in cryptic crossword land, Cockneys drop their H's. So if you hunt for something, 
in Cockney land, you would unt for it. U-N-T. I haven't, I haven't solved the clue, by the way, yet, but I'm just I'm sure that's how it's going to begin. Uh, over, abandoned. If it's something's unabandoned, it's un... I wanted to be untouched, but search for Cockney over. Abandoned, question mark. Untaken, un... I'm not sure, actually. I haven't got that one. Let's try 25. Salad dressing ingredient used by British or American cook. Uh, salad dressing ingredient. <laughs> um, ah, bobbins. Oh, no. Look, are we going to come a cropper at the end? Um way to stop european prizes going to china prizes going to china eastwards it must be eastwards if you go to china you go eastwards especially if you're in the uk which cryptic crosswords worders always seem to assume you are uh, or the setters always seem to assume you are so way could be street st stopping as in corking, as in being put in the middle of. E, yes, E for European and prizes are awards. So eastwards is going to China. Now we should be able to get, oh, this is the island. Oh, no. Oh, goodness me. This is very annoying because if you, obviously, if you're familiar with the island, you're just going to write this in. An island beginning with D and ending in W. Um, island out of Defoe. Oh no, this is a disaster, this bit. Let's try and finish off the top. I hate having two sections unfinished. Medic, okay, medic could be doctor, DR. Approaching sailors. Oh, it is, it's dross. Okay, so bunk, it was bunkers in rot. Nonsense. Doctor, DR for medic. Approaches, i.e. is next to, sailor, OS, ordinary seaman, apostrophe S. That S there is the S at the end of the, after the apostrophe of sailors. That gives us dross. So this looks like ovoid now, two down. Like certain items laid, oh, like certain items laid would be eggs. Eggs are laid. Yeah, out initially is O. The, the, the initial letter of the word out and if something is useless it is void wow that's very a very very nice clue actually and and what i love about it is when i first was trying to pass this clue i was very uncomfortable with the definition being like certain items it felt very loose to me but when it's like certain items laid it all makes sense so that is totally fair and totally clever um Right, island out of Defoe, possibly. Daniel Defoe wrote Robinson Crusoe. Um, 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 um. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. Because if I can't think of the name of this island, I fear <laughs> this could be a long video. Salad dressing ingredient. Used by British. I think that's going to be the B here. Or American cook. Broil? If you... Yeah, okay. It is broil, isn't it? That is an American type of cooking. If you broil something. I don't even know what that is, broiling. Is that boiling in brine or something? I'm not sure. Um, but I think it is an American word for cook. And I think the way this works is a salad dressing ingredient is oil. If that's used by British, we put it next to BR, which is an abbreviation for British, and we get broil. Um, this, is, this is on the tip of my tongue, this. I, I do know this, this name. I'm just... Dayglo. It's not Dayglo. It's, no, it's not Dayglo. I'm thinking it's something like Dunalo or something. 
associated out of Defoe, or possibly originally associated with old bit of Britain. <laughs> the old bit of Britain. Oh, Dane law. Dane law is something. I've seen this word before. Now, I think it's some sort of, I thought it was an old fine. Maybe it was an old coin. Island out of Defoe, possibly. Daniel. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so it's Daniel Defoe. Take the I for island out of it. Gets Danel. Originally associated with. Take the first, the original letters of associated and with, A-W. Put that two all together, we get Dane Law, which will, I presume, therefore, be an old coin. Right, so now all we've got to do this is get... If something is abandoned, it is un, 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 oh no, come on, Simon, un, abandoned, un, un, oh, what on earth is this? Come on, come on, search, search for copy, over, abandoned. Abandoned. If something is abandoned, it is un. I mean, uh, this is awful. This is absolutely awful. Anybody with any brain could just write this in, and apparently, my brain don't live here no more. Un. Abandoned. Untented. Un. Oh no. Un. Oh, we're not going to have to do an alphabet draw. Untended, I suppose. Oh, ended. Over, yes. Untended. That's going to be right. So over, if something is over, it is ended. If something is abandoned, it is untended. So there we go. We have, I think, finished the puzzle. Let us see if we've made any mistakes. I don't feel like we did, and we didn't. That's grand. Now, we have to now take recourse in the dictionary, don't we? So let us have a look at some of these words. So firstly, let's try it, because I remember thinking no one will believe me about that. Um, so it, there we go, Italian vermouth. And even as without the, um, without the full stop at the end, just as the word it, lowercase beginning, it is Italian vermouth. So that is why how a gin works, which is, I mean, it's outrageous. It's a very, very hard clue. Um, okay, doggo. I was going to show you doggo, wasn't I? We're going to look at Dane law as well. Doggo. There we go. Remaining quiet and hidden until it is safe and appropriate to emerge, as in to lie doggo. So it was just a weird word. I don't know where it comes from. Let's look at Dane law. Now, this should be a coin. Um, it's also apparently the part of England northeast of Watling Street occupied by the Danes. Uh, oh, hang on, that part, well, it's not saying coin. Oh, okay, so Dane Law, no, I've mis misled you there. I thought Dane Law, this was going to be 18 down, uh, an old coin from Britain. But actually, it literally is an old part of Britain. It is the past part north of Watling Street, northeast of Watling Street in the 9th to 11th century. Well, there we go. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of Danegeld then, aren't I? Let's look at Danegeld. Well, that's nearly a coin. It's a tax. I knew it was something financial. <laughs> um, okay, so I was confusing Danegeld with Dane Law, uh, as we do. Um, sorry about that. Um, now, our. Let's have a look at our, which I think is a Scottish word for away, and it, indeed it is. There it is. Absolutely mad. Okinawa. Um, is there anything else we need to check here? Uh, microblog, Grim Reaper. I fear there was something else I, I said I would show. I'm not in me. Gad. Oh, yeah, we were going to look at Gad, weren't we? So, Egad, I'm very familiar with. There we go. Egad, an archaic mild oath. 
But I think Gad is presumably going to be a similar thing. Not there, though. There are three meanings of Gad. There we go. A euphemistic form of God. Uh, an ob Gad, that's where Gad, Gadzooks comes from. Good grief. I didn't know that. Okay, so Gad is like saying, oh God. You might say, oh Gad. Or one used to say, oh Gad, apparently. Believe me apparently it's true anyway that's how to solve quite a difficult crossword today with some really really interesting stuff in it let me know how you got on i do enjoy the comments on these videos especially when they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic